Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, actually, I'm going to show you um, how you can completely actually build a complete stack for uh, drone, uh, which is enabled to recognize uh, and uh, capture inventory uh, via artificial intelligence and computer vision. So, and this is actually a very long process, but uh, let us see that uh, how we can actually do this, how, how, how we can actually uh, first uh, uh, fly a drone in a simulation environment, and then we can actually link that into the mapping uh, mechanism and uh, exploration of the world mechanism and then autonomous, uh, uh, autonomous navigation path and then actually how it can uh, later on localize itself and go to the goal autonomously the good thing about this uh, video is that uh, we will we, will, we are going to actually we are going to integrate move base in ROS one uh, ROS is the uh, um, operating system for robotics and actually it is uh, designed for um, the design for ground robots but actually we're going to adapt and change everything uh, with respect to um, drone or 3D environment or non-planar environment. So this is very important. So uh, what we're going to do in this video, we're actually going to create a simulation world. In this simulation world, we are going to uh, spawn our drone. And drone is actually aerospace drone. Flight controller is the open source flight controller um, from uh, Switzerland, Zurich, and then actually we are going to do complete uh, path planning or world exploration uh, with respect of SLAM and visual SLAM. Uh, we, are, we are going to do an autonomous uh, um, uh, real-time obstacle detection so uh, your drone don't collude with anything. And then we are going to integrate the RVs in it and we are going to send the uh, goals and then actually off-board mode, which is very important to connect any flight controller like um, uh, any any sort of flight controller with uh, uh, ROS API because flight controller is something different and uh, your operating system or whatever technology and platform you're using is different. So you need to somehow integrate them. So let's get start, started. So this is actually somehow we have run the simple code to start a warehouse uh, world which is uh, designed by amazon actually to provide a simulation task this is a very beautiful uh, representation of uh, warehouses where some uh, cartons are and stains are there so we are going to test uh, and create a map of uh, this environment as well so then let us actually do one thing more well this is our interface now uh, this is actually our gazebo simulation environment somehow and uh, we can actually what we can do is that we can directly follow the robot right and we can right click on it and we can just follow it and then it's gonna actually we can see here is the uh, uh, simulation uh, this is uh, the actually uh, visual slam uh, slam environment to a uh, loop based closure based mechanism actually in rows to create a map of everything and it's what it is it is actually creating a very fine-grained uh, cloud 3d cloud of every single pixel and point with the help of autometry and loop closure to recognize that where is everything and uh, what is the location of everything. This is actually creating a pixel level accuracy. What is X, Y, Z of a single point? If you can see here, it's actually measuring the single point and this is single cloud. So we're gonna just uh, see it very soon here that how it works. Then the uh, most important thing is that your flight controller like Adu X or whatever uh, flight controller you're using, or uh, RDU, RDU pilot or whatever. These software actually, you can find some open source base, but you need to uh, do a lot of development on top and you need to connect it with any uh, operating system you're using or any platform or any 
framework you're using. In our case, it is Rose, and Rose is actually uh, not supporting very much uh, open source flight controllers. Uh, when it comes to drone, it's very, you know, um, tough task. So now let us see how we can uh, shift to the offboard mode and we can uh, uh, we can actually uh, fly it and start exploring forward. Okay, so I'm now in flight control mode. As you can see that um, over drone is now taking off. It's uh, going a little bit higher. So as we can see here, this this is the odometry completely, and uh, our mode is now completely off board flight. So which means that our rose is connect connected, our map uh, move base is now connected, our navigation stack is connected. Now let's just quickly mm, let me just get the Rviz, and uh, Rviz is very important actually. For example, if I can just show you, this is the Rviz screen. And uh, the fourth thing I have here is the joystick control connected with uh, with your drone. And what you can do is you can give the goal from here to the um, estimated goal actually to move around. For example, this is uh, my drone. And what I can do is that I can give um, some path here to to move it. <laughs> and for example, this is somehow the zigzag way we can do. And right, and then actually we can somehow ask drone to move. Somehow this is the artist goal. As you can see here that this is complete um, move base. And move base is uh, designed for solely actually 3D and not 2D. But uh, you can see that uh, here we can really able to uh, avoid any collision. And the drone is not going to struck anywhere, not going to um, bump into any obstacle right now. Plus uh, you can really see that it's getting Arvis goals as well, which is really cool because uh, you need to do a lot of uh, changes in your existing system so that it is uh, completely adept for, completely adept for actually. Um, somehow you need to um, hover a lot. For example, this now actually in principle, if there is no visual uh, base slam um, autometry, this is gonna struck into the obstacle. But I think so that uh, in my case, it's not gonna. It's not going to do this. <clears throat> so I'm just uh, creating a little bit zigzag path so that it know everything in the in the environment. So it should uh, move again here. This area is a little bit less explored. After that, it should go somewhere here. It's again need to somehow. So if I just zoom out, it's actually creating a complete autometry. Uh, local path planner, global path planner, cost map, uh, occupancy grid. So this is actually occupancy grids going on. And on this path, if you can see here, it's very cool stuff going on. It's just creating a map of every single um, uh, every single pixel-based uh, autometry, which is uh, really cool. Stuff is going on here. Then we can actually go a little bit outer side to create another map. So face over drawn. So the, the other thing is uh, we can really um, uh, control with this uh, stuff here too. For example, if I can press uh, this and you can see that my drone is really uh, forward faced and uh, going a different way. This is very cool stuff if you want to actually take a control of everything. Take a control of everything to uh, take a control of everything. It's very good stuff. So um, again, we need to move this a little bit. And now let me just do it very quickly so you don't have to see everything. As you can see over the passage of time, more actually the um, robot is uh, moving here. The more beautiful map, like more pine cloud is gathering and uh, more accurate uh, picture of the scenario is here. You can see here that uh, on very minute level, it's creating a very good map with the depth camera. And now, <clears throat> actually it's remember and it's know that uh, from the point of origin relative to that point of origin, what is this single, single pixel measurement in XYZ is, so it's actually remembering all the Point clouds and with their um, coordinate coordinates, which is really cool. And in the later on, after this exploration part, we are going to go into the localization mode of SLAM, and then we are going to give uh, the um, 
uh, simple move is um, go to go location to the drone to fly at certain point, which is also really cool because normally the move is navigation stack is not designed for drone. Right now, I'm keeping this drone to uh, some certain height and a certain altitude. The reason is that um, uh, just to safe, for safety measures, don't fly very higher and it's don't um, touch the ceiling in the real time. Right now, everything is uh, running as a hardware in the loop in the real time, which is like completely the same code. What's gonna uh, what's gonna work on the real drone is actually here in the loop. So, which means that uh, the simulation is only for safety purpose. The rest actually, it's actually real uh, stuff going on on the on the flight controller side. So this is not a simulation or this is not assumed. Uh, this is a real a real actually code for the real flight controller, which is behaving now in completely 100% same as it would be in the on the real drone. As you can see that our this map now is getting very beautiful and a lot more clearer. So if you want to see the panel of this, this is everything going on. This is local panel, global panel, DWA trajectories, cost map and obstacle avoidance and everything is intact actually right now this is what you can see here okay um, uh, after a short break actually we're gonna come again with the localization mode where we send proper goal to our drone okay thank you very much okay well code wise if you see this uh, there's different uh, stuff is going on here for example um, this is awkward modes actually uh, importing all sort of stuff here in the rows then it's trying to actually connect everything uh, framework wise. Here actually I'm creating some uh, Mavros uh, stuff to um, create a bridge between, uh, create a bridge between the um, ROS and uh, flight controller. Then there is some simulation stuff is going on here, small stuff. So then actually we are here in the go to goal. Go to goal is a simple testing to, to just uh, uh, actually, uh, there's some uh, simple goals right there. Let's see how it's work in action. So, well, here is the again view, but right now we are completely in uh, localization mode, which means that now we have loaded the already explored map. We need to just explore this once, and now drone actually know where what it is, and where and how can I go somewhere. So now let's see, uh, let us uh, give some um, some points to the drone to fly over there and do something. For example, it can do QR code scanning. It can uh, uh, recognize and count the uh, cartons with the help of computer vision. So we have trained this model as well. So this is not a big deal. So we can do this actually. Well, we're gonna actually give it a go to go. Or we can just, uh, give a go to goal location to our drone and then our drone actually is trying to go there first for example and we try to recognize stuff here and after that it's gonna wait for some time then it's again do the orientation stuff and then actually comes again some point and tries to fix it and actually recognize the barcode of stuff and it's good to go. Now behind that there is AI stuff going on. AI stuff is actually trying to really recognize whatever it is. For example, this is the barcode. It's going to read the barcode here then it sends data to back so that's how this mechanism works thank you for watching for any question please comment uh, below or uh, just uh, go to your techpartner.com if you have any question right there so this is us actually building the artificial solution for drone um, drone based solution for big uh, warehouses where you know it is very hard for forklifter to go and count stuff and scan stuff it is hectic thing and we can build a very reliable drone here on the top we have a model with 3d camera and everything but uh, this drone is very reliable using the technology which actually right now uber and uh, other big tech companies are using same flight controller and same stuff is there 
and uh, if you want this you can really um, uh, connect me via, via linkedin or any channel you want any email so yeah so it is completely reliable and customizable solution we are building for every company so we need a, we're gonna take your picture of your warehouse and you train the model you can either do a barcode scanning stuff or actually you can count the cartons one by one too thank you very much uh, have a good day